Good morning, guys. Uh, I went to the open air market with one small and did some shopping. And yeah, I'm getting the gist of it. And we also have a maid, so I don't have to uh, do some home tests that I used to do. I don't know if it's uh, totally a good thing. There is obviously some disadvantages that I'm not uh, training myself to be uh, more reliant. Um, Like what's my type MBTI stands for, and uh, well, mom go got the computer back from uh, the college, and uh, it was uh, she was saying that it wasn't work. The computer guys they couldn't make it work, but it, it here it worked perfectly. So. Those guys are idiots, I think. And uh, uh, I have this Raspberry Pi here with me, and uh, maybe I'll tell, uh, I'll set it up for her in the college soon. So uh, let's choose a topic for today. And I have I have the sniffles a bit. I don't know why. Somehow it got in. Okay, so today's topic can be hmm. well Mario so Mario is a PC game uh, that is one of the best selling PC games ever I think it is the one that has sold the most copies and it was uh, it is a quite an early game uh, before the uh, 19 uh, in the 1990s or perhaps in the late 80s and a lot of uh, newer versions came out uh, of this old game including one including quite a few for the current generation of consoles that includes the Nintendo Switch so it's a very popular game and it has a rich history and the objective of the game is usually to guide Mario from the starting square to the end of the level which, is, which are usually horizontal and Mario can jump over enemies head to crush them or sometimes if he gets powered up he can use these energy balls to kill the uh, subdue the enemies he has and there are all sorts of special jumps and moving platforms that needs to be navigated and uh, later on Mar Mario became uh, a 3D game which increased the fun in most cases but it is in the latest generation of Nintendo Switch where it really shines the 3D concept and uh, people love to watch other people playing that and these days with the online streaming it's um, a lot of fun to see it in person and I played the game the, the Mario version which was in DOS and I went to the fourth level which it was a demo game so there was no way out but I went to the fourth level and I got quite excited by it and I recommend beginner game developers who have just recently started out to first make a clone of the Mario game or not the first maybe uh, one of the first because uh, it is a good game which teaches many concepts so that is all for today thank you for listening hope to see you again and bye bye